Good evening, dear esteemed viewer, and welcome to our today's edition of the Hermeneutics of Culture, Politics, and Religion, or rather Culture, Religion, and Politics, on ABS Television, Channel 2 for Oka, with very Reverend Father Professor Bona Christus Sumago Mona Madu and Kumem Fame of Instant Miracle. The director of Directorate Center for Igbo Village. Igbo Village and African Civilization. Father Bona has been 10 years or more, HOD Philosophy Unizik. He is the founder and the spiritual director of Communio Sanctorum Ministries International, Catholic Priest of Anitra Diocese a humanitarian, a philanthropist, so to say, very Reverend Father Professor Bona Christus Umago is a respected authority in African and Western metaphysics, a divine logician and mystic. Father Bona, you are welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. And I also have with me here in the studio an anthropologist and senior lecturer, African and Asian studies at UNIZIC, I'm talking about Dr. Alex Onukube Anedo. Anthropologist Dr. Onukube, you are welcome to this Thank video. Our dear esteemed viewer in our today's edition of the Hermeneutics of Culture, Religion and Politics, we are going to look at life and death in blood covenants. A lot of things involved in this very topic. Blood you are talking about, so much related to life. There is life in the blood. Then again, whatever happened, one must die. So this covenant issue, Father Bona, a renowned professor and doctor on Ukube, will get the eyes and T's dotted and crossed vis-a-vis -vis provision of answers to the questions I might pose at them. I am Jude Masko to be with the presenter of this very program. Father, let's go. I, I'm going to start with you. By you mm. letting the viewer out there know <coughs> what is a covenant on one aspect, then on the other hand, blood covenant. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Um, a covenant is always a, a contract of uh, agreement or partnership or relationship uh, wherein um, two persons or more bind themselves in oneness of intention and purpose so much so that uh, if any of them goes against such a covenant there will be a reward or punishment for those who go against the covenant uh, they suffer punishment for those who maintain or keep the laws of the covenant they uh, earn rewards for that if you look at the way I have uh, talked about that, you see that 
we need to distinguish between covenant and oath, which simply is a kind of a solemn declaration regarding a person's action or behavior. Uh, of, of course, often invoking a divine witness to uh, corroborate the truth or the veracity of uh, one's claim. Mm -hmm. When you talk about blood covenant, if you go into the types of uh, covenant, of course, uh, in covenant theology, you have things like uh, the Edenic or Adamic covenant, the Noahic, Abrahamic, till even the uh, new covenant of Jesus Christ. But you see that there is what you call white covenant and black covenant, and also blood covenant. Now, when such an agreement or such a partnership is sealed with the blood, it is called blood covenant. And as we know, blood has to do with life. <clears throat> Leviticus 17 verse 11, the life of the flesh is in the blood. I must add, by way of exegesis, not because of the blood itself, but by love, the spirit of life that gave that life to the flesh in the blood. That's why I always say that uh, life and death meet in a covenant of blood where the blood of life creates death. And the blood of death creates life in a law of the spirit of life and death. So that blood signifies life or death. When one is in a position of truth, the blood becomes the blood of life. But when one is in a position of evil or falsity, the blood becomes death, the blood of death. So I will simply say that covenant it has to be seen in a trilogic way. Uh, if you go to uh, certain forms of exegesis, like uh, if you refer to uh, the Old Testament, there is the word Allah or Shebua that has to do with not just covenant, but a kind of action done in a way that brings a kind of swearing so that when that swearing connects life and death, you now put it down to what you call berith. So there is a difference between oath and covenant in Allah or Shebua and berith. That's why in uh, the Old Testament you talk about karat berith. So it has to do with bringing about blood, sealing something in the blood of life and death so that if one keeps the covenant, the person lives. If you go against the covenant, you die. If you go again to something like uh, the New Testament as the Genesis, there's what called Horcus. In the word exorcizo, it means trying to declare solemnly in such a way that when that declaration gets the spice of blood, you now talk about diatheke or soon theke, but uh, diatheke is normally used. So, we are Horcus becomes a kind of oath. Diatheke becomes the covenant itself. In uh, the uh, Latin uh, system of thought, you find out that the, 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 what you call sacramentum has to do with oath, whereas testamentum has to do with covenant. covenant. Because uh, you find out that when you talk about uh, testamentum, we are talking about not just a witness, but the witness of spirit that brings life. See, so anytime you inject blood, you are now talking about not just somebody, uh, uh, you are talking about sacrum fasciere. Somebody wants to do something holy, something truthful that cannot involve deceit or anything that can bring death. So let me stop that far. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Father. Before we continue, let's take the first message from the sponsor of this program.
Dear child of God, you are welcomed to how many things of religion, culture, and politics with very Reverend Father Professor Abuna Kisusumogu Mwana Mado and good men fame of instant miracles. Father founder and spiritual director of Camino Sanctorum Ministries International, a supremely intelligent genius of Christ, a thoroughgoing Catholic priest, a professor of philosophy, and a respected authority in African and Western metaphysics, logics, theodicy, and mathematical philosophy. Very Reverend Father Professor Abuna Kisusumogu Mwana Mado is an international professor from the Faculty of Arts, Namda Zikiwe University, Oka, Director, Igbo Village and Center for African Civilization, UNISIC, the man who is championing the cause of establishing an Igbo University as well as Jesus Christ University. Father Bona is a Catholic priest of furniture art diocese. He is a seer and a mystic, a polyglot and philanthropist of no mean repute. Come to very Reverend Father Professor Bona Kisusumogu Mwanamado for warfare prayers, sacred exorcisms, stigmatization, transverberation, by location, miraculous transportation, levitation and mystical healings at the sacred ground, the miraculous arena of communal sanctorum, of divine apparitions, miracles, testimonies, healings and deliverances. Dear child of God, you are also invited to communal sanctorum ministries international on these days as follows. Every Tuesday, consultation from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come for sacramental confession, most holy rosary procession, gospel reading with sermon and homily, devotion to the sacred heart of Mary, angel administration every Thursday sacred communion from 9 30 a.m. to 3 30 p.m. come for sacramental confessions most holy rosary procession good news Bible reading with Simon and Hamily devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus and immaculate heart of Mary angelus administration as well as the holy mass on Saturdays communion of the saints 9 30 a.m. to 3 30 p.m. come for sacramental confession most holy rosary procession gospel reading with Simon and Hamily devotion to the sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary, first Friday slash first Saturday, Vigil, 6 p.m. till dawn. On first Friday, Devotion to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, first Saturday, Devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Venue Behind Olivia Montage, former Tourist Garden, Aguaca. God bless you. Okay, there is a viewer you can call us if you wish to do so on number 070. <clears throat> six two seven two four one nine two. I repeat zero seven zero six two seven two four one nine two. I am fast because the number is clearly written there on your screen. The other one is zero nine zero seven two nine nine two zero nine zero. You can ask your question in Igbo language or English language because we are all Igbos and this is an Igbo topic anyway. And uh, the next question goes this way. How safe and dangerous is oath and covenant as regards life and death? If you have a wando and ingui, get a dico to a sway motor tower on one ando, Dr. Nukube, I'm coming to you with this very question now. How safe and dangerous is oath and covenant as regards life and death? Thank you very much. You know, in a relationship, what uh, keeps relationship or contract or please don't be offended let's get this color hello okay. hello 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 yeah your name hello? your name and location we're getting your voice good evening yeah good evening please lower the volume of your tv set so that they can hear you well what lucky hello? you say lucky yeah. Lucky Murphy from, from Lucky, ask your question. Murphy. Murphy. Is it? Uh, is it? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Murphy I'll from Moka. Go ahead and ask the question. Yeah. Lower the volume of your TV yes. cell so that we can uh, hear you. Okay. You can stay away, stay away from your TV set. Stay away, distance your TV set. I made a point for a serious relationship that is to marry. She asked me never to leave her, so by giving my assurance, keep going back to where she comes from. She may have a doubt. She now made us take a note. So I will never leave her, even though she went back to school. So we took the road. And now that she has gone back for the Christmas season, she now came back and called to say that she's no more interested 
<laughs> that you just move on with my life. And I was trying to remind her of the hope that she never took. And she was like, I should just move on with my life that it is well. So I'm scared. And I'm worried about her too. So I don't know. I try to talk to her friends to make her feel as for the consequences of the proportion of what we took. Does the she still she's not interested that she just move on that. She doesn't want to move on. And there okay, is no okay. fire. I said I'll do anything for no use. Get this question. There's something there is something, there is something for us asking you. Okay, but she does feel like not moving on. We've got your question. Does, 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 does the oath involve blood? Yes, sir? Does the oath involve blood? Yes, it involves blood. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's, it's not just an oath, it's a covenant. <laughs> It's a covenant. Okay, yeah. get the answer to your question. Uh, Father uh, Bona is going to address it. Mm. I think um, it is uh, really dangerous. Mm. It's dangerous. And uh, of course, even if it is just an oath, it is also dangerous. As blood is involved, it's, not, it's more than an oath. That was why I wanted um, to make it clear that there is a distinction between oath and covenant in my former analysis. Now, it depends on the witness called to give veracity to the oath. For instance, uh, if you invoked the name of God, because I have made it clear that uh, in covenants, it is always safe to invoke the name of God. Because God is the supreme ruler and the control of the universe, the origin of humanity and the origin of divinity. In the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2146, you see that the name of God is very active in covenants. Especially, for instance, if you, if you come down to uh, paragraph uh, 2150, so whoever takes an oath or engages in a covenant with the name of God calls God to be a witness. And when God is the witness, what is right must be done. The good must be done, and every evil must be avoided. So uh, I will simply say that uh, if you took the oath by the authority of human witness, you still need to appeal to God to dissolve that oath and or covenant. If you also uh, used the divine witness of God himself, you also need to appeal to God. But I have to tell you the truth. The life of the flesh is in the blood. Not just by the law of the spirit of the flesh, but by the law of the spirit that gave that life to the flesh in the blood. So when their blood came together, two of you have gone into oneness of intention and purpose. And whoever breaks that, definitely will die. And whoever keeps that will, will live. But I want to make it clear that if you use the blood, only the blood of a higher being, and by this point in time, I mean Jesus Christ, that's what we call Novi et Eterni Testamenti, the New Testament in the blood of Jesus Christ. So I will simply tell you, uh, do not be afraid of that. God is bigger than the oath or the covenant. Invoke the New Testament in the blood of Jesus Christ, and that will surely dissolve and destroy that. You cannot force her to marry you, uh, but uh, whatever she finds in her way, because of her misdemeanor, let her take just be careful about yourself. Thank you. Okay, Father, I want to ask you... Uh, uh, is there explain something? No, no, I know it's going to come in. Uh, the question I ask you exactly is... is uh, yes, the same kind of question the, <coughs> the viewer asks right now. Mm -hmm. Is it genuine, that kind of covenant they just took? How genuine is it? <laughs> they would have invited the priest to do it, but they did it themselves. No oath or covenant is a joke. Especially if it involves blood. Obala, 
Only two zagis walk away. Mana, if you get a cubu, na a bone on no bacotale, we may fafu. Can't switch up with that, or under the who were a human witness. Now, and Cabo on one on one. Mana, mobu, on one while, mobonya or zo, mobu chuku, onya ga eme, konya jejumu on where boot Jesu Christi. A bobala the name, I get you or bala, we may be. Obozo obala nko no maka na mefia abago na obala afu. Eh o obala wa tolo chineke bu Jesu Kristi de mefia mefia. Ka so obala nko bwandu ka abogo ni obala ai ka geju e mebi fa afu. Mm. So no oath or covenant is a joke. Okay doctor onuku how safe and now how safe and dangerous. You have to go deeper now. You've had that uh, viewer ask the question. Yes. Murphy from Oka. Yes, how have... safe and dangerous is this oath and covenant? when you look at life one side and death the other side? Okay, as I was uh, about to say, before the caller asked his question, which led to my, my uh, response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, in a relationship, um, what matters in a relationship or contract is trust. And when there's no trust or when there's fear of trust, then people begin to uh, bring in covenant so that they will seal up that relationship or contract they have. Uh, one Chinese philosopher says that human heart is evil. But that other one said that no, human heart is not evil. Rather, it is is a contact with outside that makes it evil. So in this case, when, uh, when there is a, a covenant, especially when it involves blood or even a deity or whatever, it, we, they are doing that, the, the partners, those people involved in that, they are doing it to, to see their relationship, their contract, and make it safe. For instance, uh, like the caller just said, the girl was afraid that one day he might leave her. So he was doing, she, she asked for it so that she will keep that relationship, which she, she thought might get to marriage. So that is to keep the, the relationship safe. But now that she has deviated, that's where it is very dangerous. If, you, if one knows that he cannot, he or she cannot keep that covenant, it's better not to go into it. Because deviation, reneging, will cause something harmful. So it is dangerous when one shifts from the agreement. It is safe when the person keeps to, it, to that. That's why people should be very careful in whatever they do. Do you understand me? Yeah, we have another caller. Mm. Hello? Yeah. Your name and location? Your name and location? Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening. What's your name and location? Your name and where you are calling from? I'm calling, I'm calling from Walker. What's your name then? Hello. What's your name? I said I'm calling from Walker. I'm Ogochiku. Okay, Ogochiku from Walker. Go ahead with your question. <coughs> Ogochiku, you have to call back. It may be a network problem. Yeah. You may have to call back. Okay, uh, Father, mm -hmm. I want you to go further down. Based on that question, the caller asked. And again, what Dr. Onukube said. Now, this is towards the blood of Jesus. The restoration power of the blood of Jesus. Because you rightly advised the caller mm -hmm. that it is only the blood of Jesus that can... Let's pick this caller. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. your name and location. Okay, it's Ogochuku from Oka. Okay, Ogochuku, go ahead and ask your question. 
Ogochukwu from Oka. Go ahead, ask a question. We're taking note of your name and location. Ogochukwu, go ahead. Uh, please, uh, please, uh, there's a one time I had. Can you hear me? Yeah, we are hearing you clear. Please, uh, I had a covenant with. Yeah, I had a covenant with a guy. Yeah. So. So, but now he's married, and I'm also married. So before we got married, before I got married to another person, we destroyed the covenant. But well, I don't know if he, if he is still active because I don't know because I've been having some problems in my marriage, and I don't know if that could be the cause of the problem. And he himself is also having some problems in terms of uh, childbearing. So I don't know. Like why is me? I'm having series of miscarriages. How did they so I don't know if that could be the problem that? of uh, what well, if that could be the problem of all these things. Uh, How did you destroy the covenant? Yes. Do you get the question? Oh, but, um, Father is asking you, how did you destroy the okay, covenant? We, we took rays of blade, then pierced our hand, our fingers. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Then, and instead of me, I lift my own blood, and he lifts his own blood. Then we say some words that we've destroyed, that we've not separated, that everybody is free to go his or own way. So, so you, I don't know if he's <coughs> he still active. Yes, uh, you reversed the process. Mm. I will uh, simply uh, say that, um, and again, if you are under the network or influence of this particular program with the same problem, listen attentively. <coughs> Uh, you can either invoke a human or a spiritual witness. For instance, when I say spiritual witness, you can also in invoke deities uh, that uh, may even be evil themselves. Uh, I will simply say that when a human witness comes in to witness to that oath or covenant that has blood seal, uh, one can say, all things being equal, that if you reverse the process, that somehow, somewhere, the process has ceased. But I must tell you the truth. Once blood is involved, you can no longer reverse the process by yourselves. Hmm. That's the verdict there. Once blood, because first of all, blood is life. You did not create the blood. So there's always what we call covenant of body and blood, soul, and humanity or divinity. So anytime there is, that's why it is always good and safe to use the highest possible person. And that's God, the supreme personality. That's God. I have uh, made a reference to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2150, precisely. You call God to be a witness. <clears throat> and when God is the witness, and you say, Agaba, Agaba, Akaleze, Nakwanaba, Akaleze. But you know that when God is the witness, you cannot lick your own blood. blood. Yes, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. See, that's why anytime you want to do anything, of course, uh, uh, Doc made it clear that it is both safe and dangerous. Of course, I also made it clear that when it is dangerous, is when the punishment comes. But it is safe when the reward comes. Mm -hmm. So what I will say is that anytime you want to get into anything, call God to come into that because any other lesser spirit or lesser human being that we come into that, <clears throat> will not be able to help you out uh, if there is a, a problem or a mix-up anywhere. Mm. So I will simply say, uh, you have uh, reversed the process as far as you can by human possibilities and realities. But you still need, since blood is involved, which involves life, you still need to go back to God. And I want to recommend the Holy Mass whether you are a Catholic or not a Catholic, you need to book the Holy Mass. 
But that's we are this kind of brother I'm talking about praise for the people speaks for you. You see, the New Testament in the blood of Jesus Christ. I will still coming to that because that's the question he has just posed. But uh, uh, I think uh, the Holy Mass, the Holy Mass, or any other witness, ordained witness of God, can come in to arbitrate in such uh, matters. There is no longer what two of you can just uh, come together and, uh, for instance, even in the reversal of the process, you made a mistake. You, you, you said you licked your own blood and he, he licked his own blood. No longer the cross licking, mm -hmm. which uh, brought about the covenant. So how, how can that? Even some say that you just um, spit the blood on the, the, on the ground. <clears throat> you are going into another covenant that has to do with Ajahn. Mm -hmm. uh, see, and anytime you want to get into such things, very careful because if you are Engage in a covenant with somebody who has a superior force or power and God is not involved, that covenant may not affect that person. That's the problem. Mm. Mm. If you are not only 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 you are not Moyen on our bando, okay, for give up the wega. Ina, if you never bando nonana. Yeah, Obando da, what an anda is on a cachineke, one big and a balloso, Manachon can quit Macandina Banans would the dictionary. Obando nonana. Oh, one ban a milli, even since a milli could eat it. Okay, it made them calf nonan. Yeah, well, of the Catana, if they got only no no bando a milli, no yen no no banduana, bando. When no one do million we can see us, man, one do we can only for game. Man, I see like an audio. Okay, okay, Miss Vanna, we can. Hello, hello. Oh, one do do two zuzuwa. No one in Kenya. When no one do for the car, I lost it. One do do two zuzu. Cause in that na agani kuku. Na yango no one. If we na kia for bar lakwa, we only get one do afu. Mo ngo i afu. Only for game. Na bogo na oge e na abanya na ye gbasare enweyi mo e gbando biko gbambo gbaba ka chineke bulo nya ka ebe biko o ni ji ji e fe ye de fe deliver for the catechism of the catholic church paragraph 2150 bo chineke ka bulo nya ka ebe age ye wa fa chineke an kete ni fo obuna mm mani just go bye bye na ife gbasare fe enweyi si mo fa ndo muna na e mebe di chiche Nanibo. Mhm. If I say I got a yell alusi more bandu alusi. Mobaga wajinana. Magi swajin or bala. Magi menka menka. If and that for nearly fetching a get bala asi. If I need may fearfully well. Gwando muna for and doors on in the seed of Guchuku. If an and dog aboso. Manda bunda we non for gabos also. Magani bula no ever tin get your body on the yeah, but all you think and Tina if on a Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, but oh God, if I go to Obu Nam, if I if I go to Kadegenaro, if I go to Kadegenamu, I go to Kadegenobi. Uh huh. Uh, if I go to Kana, I travel on on Namu. Hmm. Yeah, I'm asking. See, you go Mago Oku Ogu Manitu Ngasi Kesi Jokuyabu Gan Welu Ego Bukuo, the Holy Mass Ka Aka Masi Basali Fafu Numele Ko Bando Nabro or Balam Mad, more Balachi to Quemel Mad of Jesu Christi. Maybe if I have, or if I get to Revelation chapter twelve, verse eleven. Hello, Hello. Hello. Yeah, your name and location. Hello. Hello, can I find an abyss? Okay, I can go to Kupo. Ugo Chuku? Hello, I can go to Kupo. I'm going to go to Kupo. 
Then I'll go to Arif Tabo. Okay, I'll go to Kupo. This is Arif Tabo. What do you do? Go to Kupo. Ghani, do you have to go? I'm a one-man worker in the channel, sir. Okay, if I can go, I'm a one-man worker in the channel. Necropolis, the religion of the dead. Uh, so you don't need to, to use the spirit of a dead person. Mm. There's no need. See, no matter how powerful, God is the supreme ruler and the controller of the universe. God is greater than every person. God is the creator of everybody. Uh, and you see, a, a, a soul that is even trapped <laughs> about the first judgment, you are disturbing the soul. Mm. <laughs> and also uh, contracting uh, other covenants from the uh, land and other things. Mm. So, so you are going into uh, necropolis. Mm. So it's a kind of a witchcraft. <laughs> kind of witchcraft. So I will simply say, mm. indeed, I, will, I want to give this advice as a general advice. Even though you have made a mistake, go back to God. He's the only person who can set you free from all these things because he's higher than every other power or force. So I will advise you, uh, go back to God. You can still uh, come together, but no longer uh, 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 at the grave. Okay. You can come together just as human beings and uh, uh, revoke or reverse what you have said to each other. Uh, but you see, uh, do that with God as a witness, not with uh, the grave or the spirit of a dead person as uh, a witness. Actually, I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't o kan manu no ye balo ye mano yi ko na yi waga as no la to bo to e ko be ko be o yi gido yi o to ba bo da nu ga nu anu ije na ben ke wan ban di baba mana ije bi se ke ba godo ndo o da bazro maka na o nya nwe ke chi o fo ye kan ma mo be mekete o nwe fe mele ni o kwa ma di ko nwe agbo ko bu e ban do awi kan o nwe ga agbo Pakai ikat dong kau dobet email faham? Oke sini na, engkau kau kaya bala, mau kau kaya bala. Ikat orang dulu naik naik banduk, noya onya la. Hello, hello, hello. Ya, kita fahamnya, kita fahamnya bisa abah. Good evening, kita fahamnya bisa abah. Good evening, kita fahamnya bisa. Ah? Your name is what? <laughs> what do you say is your name? Omolife, Omolife, Dr. Kukulunga, it's when I go and get a father well, don't do my daughter. My canoe for Kakuzi, be fair, I know Kunai. There is the code of the canon law, paragraph 1055. There, the church made it clear that marriage is a contract of partnership wherein a man and a woman become husband and wife in a covenant geared towards three major things. One, becoming partners of each other. Number two, procreation. Number three, the education of their children according to the laws of the church. So I will not uh, recommend that uh, you go into friendship that is sexual. 
your, the church forbids that, the sixth commandment forbids that, mm -hmm. so the ninth commandment. Uh, so if you really want to go into covenant, why not marry and do your wedding in the church? That is the covenant. Yes. Mm. For instance, uh, in um, paragraph in Canon uh, 1056, you have two essential properties of marriage, unity and indissolubility. So you, you get what you, are, you want. You get what you want in wedding in the church. Mm -hmm. Can we pick this color? Hello? Hello? Uh -huh. your, name and, your name your name and location. Oh, sorry, I'm going to show you how to do Gani Rupo. It is worse when you are a man. Cambia, Cambia, Omwelu, in case you are a EJF, and you are a man. I know if 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 you are the Canon 1056. I'm not talking about 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 the Canon Kuneje kushineke. Chineke karede. Onye ajo na ogen shadazo. Kare kwa rive gena na bo mele na ini madi. Mana o etu agesuwe jeka na akowa. Achoto nye eshilechi mwere kiji oku shineke. Mwajili blessed sacrament. Mana ebe kacham bancho kanti yaka ebe gaga mweke mebi mwifenda nini. Bo ija jamisa diaso. Mana o gade kwa mba. Ebulu onye Catholic, ega kubdan jogo, nato kudumbo alen ken jog. Eh eh, ngozi afote ken jog, emelumba galon. Kafu mesi amaki gezo e son kafu. Mana ega jogo dun kubdan, nato kudumbo alen ken jog. Oni nono kandi ozo, unma kuno esikwa yone ba fu na yo. Naga yuko chini chini, ochi neke gaga yo, buruma de gaga yo. Ebi yo mara ojo na gara, bendi boso nyanya agwa yuko agwa ozo. Ona igwa ojo igebu ebu. Eh, oni agwa yuko agwa ozo. Eh. Ela o galera ajuda, jogo jogo. Quem é que quer ir fazer nada? Quem é que vai fazer nada? Yes, mas let's take another message from the sponsor of this program. Another message from the sponsor of the program. Dear child of God, you are welcome to Hermeneutics of Religion, Culture, and Politics with very Reverend Father Professor Abuna Kizuzu Mwagu Mwana Mado and good men fame of Instant Miracles. Father Founder and Spiritual Director of Camino Sanctorum Ministries International, a supremely intelligent genius of Christ, a far-going Catholic priest, a professor of philosophy, and a respected authority in African and Western metaphysics, logics, theodicy, and mathematical philosophy. Very Reverend Father Professor Abuna Kizuzu Mwagu Mwana Mado is an international professor from the Faculty of Arts, Namdazikiwe University, Oka, Director, Igbo Village and Center for African Civilization, UNICEF, the man who is championing the cause of establishing an Igbo University as well as Jesus Christ University. Father Bona is a Catholic priest of furniture art diocese. He is a seer and a mystic, a polyglot and philanthropist of no mean repute. Come to very Reverend Father Professor Bona Kisusumogu Mwanamado for warfare prayers, sacred exorcisms, stigmatization, transverberation, bilocation, 
location, Miraclos Transportation, Levitation and Mystical Healings, at the Sacred Ground Miraclos Arena of Communio Sanctorum, of Divine Apparitions, Miracles, Testimonies, Healings and Deliverances, Dear Child of God, you are also invited to Communio Sanctorum Ministries International on these days as follows. Every Tuesday, consultation from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., come for Sacramental Confession, Most Holy Rosary Procession, Gospel Reading with Simon and Hermely, Devotion to the Sacred Heart of Mary, Angelus Administration. Every Thursday, Sacred Communion from 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., come for Sacramental Confessions, Most Holy Rosary Procession, Good News Bible Reading with Simon and Hermely, Devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary, Angelus Administration, as well as the Holy Mass. On Saturdays, Communion of the Saints, 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., come for Sacramental Confession, Most Holy Rosary Procession, Gospel Reading with Simon and Hermely, Devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary, First Friday slash First Saturday, Vigil, 6 p.m. till dawn. On First Friday, Devotion to the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, First Saturday, Devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Venue, Behind Olivia Montage, Former Tourist Garden, Aguaca. God bless you. Father, I ask you about the power of resolution. Before the question started coming in, so can you address that briefly? Does the blood of Jesus restore? How? Mm -hmm. It's a very important question. Mm -hmm. I've uh, so much mentioned uh, the power of the New Testament in the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In um, trying to explain what covenant means, in the New Testament, I made a reference to what I call the Horcus, that has to do with what we may call just oath, or a word that is a solemn declaration, a word solemnly declared, or often with a divine witness invoked. But you see, if you go deeper, you meet what you call the Atheke, which has to do with covenant of blood. Now, when we talk about life and the death, the power of life and death in the blood covenant, we are talking about something that you can get in uh, Matthew chapter 26, verse 28. Indeed, I will uh, do a perfect exegesis of that. There, you can see where it was said, to to gar esteen haima mu. Jesus is talking about his own blood. Tes, dia thekes to peri polon, ek kinomenon eis afesin hamarthion. The New Testament in the blood of Jesus Christ poured out for many. Not for idiot, but for the forgiveness of sins. See, that's where I'm coming to. See, now, in the blood of Jesus Christ, there is the power of not just resurrection, but remission of sins. Now, when sin is remitted, then the salary of sin, as you have it in uh, uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 23, is destroyed. The wages of sin is dead. So, death is destroyed. When sin is remitted, when sin is destroyed. Now, when death is also destroyed, the gates of hell, see, as somebody said, hateful to me as the gates of Hades, is the man who has something in his heart and speaks of another. So, even the, of course, Krakai said that the gates of hell shall not prevail. So, anytime you have confronted the New Testament power in the blood of Jesus Christ, it has the power to forgive sins. Not by the authority of the Old Testament, but of the New Testament. Novi et Eterni Testamenti. Qui pro vobis e promutus e fundetor. E remissionem peccatorum. So that's what Jesus told us to do. So as to get sins forgiven, remitted, so as to get the law of the spirit of death destroyed, so the law of the spirit of life, by the blood that brought life, we stand. 
You just spoke Latin now. I couldn't get and, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the language of the church. You see, as the, as the prince of the church, I like speaking Latin. But the Jew, I would like to know what you just spoke, <laughs> so that they will know you yeah. are still on the same side. Of course, I've already, uh, I, 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 it's what I said in the Greek, that I said in Latin, I've also said that in the English, that the power of the New Testament is in the blood of Jesus Christ, not for any other thing, but for the remission of sins. Now I understand. Mm, that's what I would <laughs> Okay, mm. because we don't have time, uh, Dr. Anukube, just briefly in a minute, what advice would you want to give to the young youth there who are embarking on random covenant and oath taking? Uh, well, I have already said that, but I have to add that uh, going to covenant which one cannot keep is very dangerous. It's better to do what you want, what you can keep. If you cannot keep, don't try it. Okay, uh, Father Bona, just in about two minutes, does the blood speak? Of does course. the blood speak? The, the blood speaks. Yeah. I can give an example uh, in uh, Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. The blood of Abel cried. Not, not just speaking, the blood cries out. Mm -hmm. And you see, when God uh, heard the voice of the blood, in Genesis 9, verse 6, God said, If man sheds blood, by man will his own blood be shed. Mm. So blood. because the blood is life, the blood speaks, the blood cries out. Ha eletole dot in covenant theology. See, we still get into that because uh, we only answered questions today. <laughs> okay, Father, there's a lot of bloodletting in Nigeria. Blood is uh, be flowing in this country. It's Whether terrible. it is a result mm -hmm. of covenant somewhere that people are shedding blood, I don't know. Based on this, I want you to pray for Nigeria, pray for Nambra State, pray for ABS. Mm -hmm. So that wherever blood is being letted out, it should stop. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, the author of life, you have made it clear in Romans 8 verse 1. There is no condemnation of anybody who is in Christ Jesus. I invoke the law of the spirit of life against the law of the spirit of death. And I release your people from the law of sin, especially sin with the seal of blood and the law of death itself against the gates of hell. Oh God, the confidence I have in saying this prayer is given in Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. You said, Et ipsi visherum to ilum. Propte sanguine magni. Et propte verbum testimony. I ask you, Almighty God, let us conquer by the authority of the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Oh God, we call upon Isaiah 10, verse 27. To break every yoke of the spirit of death, every yoke of blood covenants that are evil, every yoke of murderers all over the place. You said on that day, which is what is going to pass, that by the power of the anointing, our yokes broken. So, Almighty God, whatever yoke that stands against the life of your people, by these murderers all over the place, by these people with black covenants, seals of death everywhere, oh God, let such evil things be broken by the power of the anointing at this hour. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. The Almighty God bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Thank you very much, very Reverend Father Professor Bonatis Simog. Well, there is still you, and this is where we cut the curtain on our today's edition of the Hermeneutics of Culture, Religion, and uh, Politics. It has been a wonderful time with uh, Father Bonner and Dr. Anu Kube. Father Bonner, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. And Dr. Alex, it's been wonderful with you. Thank, thank you very much you for very coming. Much. So, from me, Jude Mascot, the presenter of this program. Father, I think we are going to do another cut of this very topic. <laughs> It's very important. So we are coming back again to continue from where we stop on this very topic, life and death in blood covenant. So until next week, bye for now. <laughs>